And one thing I will say about Bliss is she's going to be very blunt about everything. It doesn't matter who it is, my nigga. It's uncensored. I know a lot of people have negative opinions when it comes to Bliss's reactions. And I can relate. Because niggas don't like to hear the truth. Niggas don't like to hear real nigga shit. And that's the thing. You got to respect a person who's going to give you their honest and genuine opinion. I see so, absolutely nothing wrong. Yeah. This is her opinion. Yeah. And she's the type where she just can't sit and have someone pee on her head and tell her that it's raining. So throughout this video, you're going to be hearing a barking dog in the background. I'm sorry! My roommate's dog has separation anxiety and she just went to work. There's nothing I can do, this is the only time I can film, and I really want to react to this video. I have not seen it yet and I want y'all to see it with me. But before I get into this, I want you to see my last video. You can click onto it right there. I made a video on Easy and Natalie and why I believe their relationship is not going to last. Didn't say how long they're gonna be together, but in my opinion, I feel that they are not a forever couple. I made some pretty good points and I showed you footage of words coming out of their mouths, okay? Don't get mad at me. So Easy and Natalie uploaded a video called What Happened to Us? In parentheses, the end. I don't know what they're talking about, but I'm very eager to watch this. So are y'all ready to react? Cause I am. Let's get it. Something that I did on my behalf that affected this relationship really bad, it was not only disrespectful to you, it was uncalled for. Okay. The explanation, explain it. What's up, Neezy Gang? Gang, 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 gang. What up? Okay, so it's really windy out here. It is. Um, There's also a beautiful fountain. Damn, that sucks, y'all. I'm sorry this video's gonna turn out shitty. We have a barking dog in the background and waterfalls in their background. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Behind us. So, no. yeah, you guys possibly may not hear us. We have not been on the internet, well, at least I haven't for about like a while. And a lot of you guys noticed and- yeah. A while, girl. It's only been a week. <laughs> well, for her, I guess it is a while. Uh, there's a reason why we wanted to talk to you guys about it because you know that we really do look at you guys like as our family. family We like to share things with you guys and keep you like included something that I did on my behalf that Affected this relationship really bad. I've done this before you guys notice that I've done it and it's very um, Childish the one thing out of our relationship that I shouldn't do which is go to the internet and express my problems that I have with Natalie to the world you know what I'm saying? And vent. And I know that this is like our job. And you know, we, we love showing you guys so much of what goes on. But the there thing, are some things that should be kept private. Yeah, and, there's this right? thing that should be kept private. And the thing that I did was not, on, not only disrespectful to you, it was uncalled for. I'm supposed to be the person you go to, confide in, love, and hold your deepest secrets. And when you need a shoulder to cry on, I'm supposed to be that person. Mm -hmm. And I decided to allow my insecure emotions to get the best of me and lash out on social media and express what I was feeling instead of just keeping it between us. Yeah. Now, our relationship isn't perfect. And our comfortability, it was at a point where it was too comfortable. And regardless if I have a life on social media, our problems should never be. The world needs to know what our problems is. For if they About damn time. Natalie is giving you a third chance. So... Now that you're saying all this, I hope you're really taking it in and really move forward from this. Because like I said in my last video, if Easy steps with the Twitter fingers and keeps their issues behind closed doors for them two to figure out, they're gonna last longer. It seems like she's figuring it out. We'll see. Who know our problems. It's something that we both agree on. Like this right. is something that is healthy for us to share to right. our audience because we do want you guys to know that we're real people. We're, of course you're going to get a lot of good with us, but you guys deserve to see how couples work things out. You guys, we think it's a positive thing for you guys to see that type of stuff too and that we do also have our issues just like everyone else. Yeah. And it makes it more relatable, you know? Yeah. So whenever we do make a video like this one where we are telling you guys that we're going through something, this is something that we both decided, hey, this could be a learning experience for the Neasy Gang. Yeah. So maybe we should put this out we should never neither of us should ever post something or put something out that was not 
agreed upon yeah. by the other person. Right. Yeah, and, and this is just mainly on my behalf. What we were going through privately, I just felt like, how could I? You know what I'm saying? How could I do something like that to my best friend? You know, and I'm not perfect, and you know. Did y'all watch my video, Easy and Natalie? Did y'all watch my video? Because I feel like you're saying shit word for word from what I said. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not perfect. But the fact that I did that and no matter what the truth was, even if you were being the most disrespectful person to me and you were not, I shouldn't have allowed myself to get there because that's just ugly. Yeah. And it's not it's not who I am. And based off of my own insecurities, I allow myself to do that. Yeah, you know? And also on Easy's defense, I also want to say... Just because the person is going out to social media letting shit out does not mean they're at fault of what happened behind closed doors. It just means that they chose that outlet to vent. It's the wrong outlet. That ain't the way to go. But she chose that direction. And that is the reason why it's bad to let the public in. They only know one side when that one side is upset or angry or disappointed. That's why you don't do it. I feel like, too, something that we've been talking about is realizing, and we wanted to share with us with the knees again, because we feel like this yeah. is a very, we spent, like, all afternoon talking about how every relationship that you have, yeah. you have to look at it like a house. You yeah. build you build a house together, a home, okay? Exactly. Whether, and this is romantic, this is regular relationships, this is family relationships. Each You have a home with each person. And within that home, you fill it with the things that are important to you and that person. You guys live in that home together. Yeah. That is your relationship. And something True. that I expressed to Easy is I felt like the foundation of our home was broken. Definitely. Um, yeah. And the foundation, as you guys know, is the most important part of our Definitely. house. Definitely. The foundation yeah. is like not built as you can see in this conversation natalie is the mature one natalie knows what is needed for this relationship to flourish and to grow because easy has been immature throughout this whole thing not to say that she'll ever mature because it takes growth y'all it takes mistakes sometimes to learn your lessons time is so important and hopefully within time they can try to mold this relationship in a positive direction i still don't think they're a forever couple but i do want them to last a little bit longer i mean they've been friends for such a long time and because they chose to cross that line from best friends to a relationship i hope they make it last a little longer don't don't do all that work just to let it go to shit. work on it guys if it's cracked, if it's rotting, yeah. like then honestly, the house is gonna tumble down. The house, it's first hurricane or, or earthquake or whatever. Oh shit! Oh shit! She's still talking about the house. Yeah. It's gonna tear the house down, right? Yeah. So I told her, and we've been talking about how we need to rebuild the foundation of our home. Right. And I actually expressed to her some things we came up with is the number one thing to a healthy foundation for our home is respect. Yeah. And then yes. love. And love is different, different. love languages different because. Love. It's not going to just be what my perception of love is. It's going to be what her my perception of love is, too. Yeah. And we have to understand that so that we can actually love each other. Exactly. You know, then the next thing would be probably communication yeah. and being able to talk through things and not lash out because we're actually yeah. understanding. <laughs> Why is this funny to me, y'all? Natalie's doing all the talking and Easy's like, yeah, mm hmm, exactly. Yeah, uh huh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Natalie, Natalie's more more you know she's smarter okay each other exactly. and we have let the woman talk respect which was the number one thing for each other to lash out and then the last thing that we think is important for our foundation is compassion yeah. because then we understand that neither of us are perfect so yeah. whenever mm -hmm. we're going through something we have enough compassion to try to understand why that person reacted or did something or said something yeah. the way that they did and when you have that amount of compassion then that makes you want to communicate that makes you want to respect that person it makes you want to love exactly that person. you want to put you, you want to always put yourself in your partner's shoes think at it from their perspective like okay if i was them and they did this or they said that how would i react Act. How would I feel? So when you put yourself in that position, it's like, damn, I wouldn't want that to happen to me. So why would I do that to my partner? You get me? I think this is honestly a, lesson. Is a huge lesson and a monumental thing that we probably came up with for our relationship. So maybe you guys should figure out what type of relationships and homes yeah. you're building with other people because you don't want... And this is 
coming from Natalie. She sat easy down. She like, listen, bitch, we can't be doing this again. And I ain't gonna let you slide with this no more. We gotta figure this shit out because if we don't, I got to go. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she didn't say it like that, but you get me. Build a house with somebody that is made out of rotted boards. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Like you want a home, whether it's your with your best friend or whoever, your mother that literally will not blow over with the first hurricane that comes. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you gotta make it sturdy. You gotta make it strong. Off camera, we've talked so much, and it wasn't up until this situation where we actually felt more connected after everything happened. And when the reason why I say that is because. We took time from social media and put that time into our relationship. We were using, I feel like we were so invested into our business and not catering and... It becomes unhealthy. And I say this all the time in my videos when I react to couples. And this is why I believe Damo and Chrissy did not work and Jazz and Tay did not work. You can't make your relationship about YouTube. You can't be filming all the time, doing skits all the time, doing pranks all the time, because then your relationship doesn't become real anymore. Realize the signs and stop it in its tracks. They post three days a week, so they need a break. In that love, you know, that we needed to our relationship. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was just so, like, at a point it felt like we were just business partners and for, we forgot that we were, like, in love. We didn't even take enough time for yeah, ourselves, exactly. let alone each other. Exactly. And, and, and it was like, how, we weren't even realizing, like, damn, we weren't having deep combos anymore. We felt like, damn, we weren't really communicating anymore. Damn, do I even know you? Do I know how to deal with you? Why am I making impulsive decisions? Why can't I just talk to you? And we felt like we were so wrapped up in social media that it was just like, yo... Not everything needs to be on in, on the internet. We need to deal with our problems within ourselves. Shut everybody out. Let me learn about you. I know you as my best friend. Let me learn you as my lover. You know what I'm saying? And there was just so many disconnections that we were starting to have. That's the thing. In my last video, I said that some, comp some couples cannot work together. Whenever they go through things, they're not able to disconnect from their emotions and move forward with the business. It affects them business-wise. But because you guys have different sources of income from different social me social media platforms and whatever other things you guys got going on, it's okay to disconnect from one of those businesses. Okay, like, okay, we have to let one of them go or at least take a break from it. Because if you believe that your relationship is worth it, that's something that you might have to do, but you both have to agree. Natalie can't just say you have to take down your Twitter. No, that's not the solution. You both have to agree to it, and your partner has to want to do it. So let's see what they gotta say. And it was just like, damn, what is this? Who are you? What, like, I don't remember this easy. I don't remember this Natalie. And not, not that she did anything wrong, it was just that we started to realize so many different things. I needed a break. You know, I needed a break from social media because that was my day in, day out. My screen time, I don't know if you guys have an iPhone, and I looked at my screen time, how many hours I was on my phone. And the amount of hours was literally 10 hours a day. Damn. 10 hours a day. And it's 24 hours in a day. So I was half of the day. Damn. I was on my phone for 10 hours. You can go by day. You can go by week. But it was 10 hours, 9 hours, 7 hours, 11 hours. And I was like, yo. It becomes an obsession. And that ain't good. What? Are you kidding me? Where's that time for myself? Yeah. The time that I need for me? Now, granted, a lot of that time... Like, was you know she was working a lot right. of the time and but a lot of it was also just becoming Scrolled. habitually yeah. um kind of like engaged with social media with your phone and yeah. and you realize that time is going to pass you by yeah. regardless of if you're actually in the moment engaged yeah. taking in everything taking in right. your partner blah blah blah, blah. Yeah. do you want to let your life go by and realize you spent literally half of the time mm. on your phone because mm. if at that point you were spending half right. of your time on your phone half of your time on your phone you will literally miss out on so many things and so many memories that you could have made and, my and that's a true statement you know in my late 20s i decided to go without a phone for a whole year a year without a cell phone now granted, I did have a house phone just in case there's an emergency. But other than that, no cell phone for a whole year. And let me tell you, not only are you disconnecting from social media, but you're also disconnecting from the world. And it was whew, so relaxing. 
It was so liberating. So much freedom to where nobody calls me for favors. No one can text me or call me to pissing me off. It was great. It was amazing. The only reason why I got a cell phone again was because I got into a relationship. And she's like, boo, you need a phone. We need to talk. <laughs> so that's the only reason. And that was my ex-wife, so. Your phone, it might be a video game. It might be so whatever. It might be, any, it could be anything that is taking your time and distracting you from actually living presently yeah. in your life with the people that you love. But yeah. take that time and realize that. And that's something that, you know, we had to do. You know, once I found that peace within myself, I knew I was able to give that peace to us. So I do want to say, you know, publicly again, that I'm sorry, Natalie, for making that decision to impulsively react off of an assumption based off of my insecurity, if that makes sense. You know, and you know that I've, I've apologized and shown you actions of growth in myself. And that's why we're here right now. Yeah. But I do want to say publicly, because I decided to have actions that were public, that I am sorry. And you are the love of my life. You know what I'm saying? You mean the world to me. And, you know, something that I said earlier, she was just talking. And I was just admiring everything she was saying. And, I, <laughs> and my alarm went off. And she was like, oh, am I talking so long? She talked. She was talking for 25 minutes. I see. I didn't know. <laughs> 25 minutes straight, and I didn't even notice. There was a clock behind her. And I was like, oh, damn. And my, my alarm went off, and she was like, oh, am I talking too much? And I'm like, no. Like, so she's starting to be repetitive. I was like, no, you know, I admire you. You know, I said, I admire you. And I was just like, when you talk, time doesn't exist. You know? And it was just That's like, deep. it was like, <laughs> yo, like, fuck everything else. Like, what we have to do, what, where we have to go. Yeah, like, nothing like, else matters. Right. Matter. Right. But this right. Moment, you know, and that's what we realized, like, we were so focused on time and schedule that we weren't focused on ourselves and now it's just like i feel like we missed a lot of time we missed so much time together and that the time that was very important to us wow. you know what i'm saying that's and crazy to spend every single day with a person and feel like you miss out on time feel like you haven't actually even been with them for right. however long that's crazy wow that's that deep. that shows you how you really? being consumed with something else can really you could be existing with somebody right. but you're not actually with them yeah and it it affected our relationship yeah. a lot and our friendship and our friendship it was like we were changing we knew how to be best friends but being a, with somebody as a lover is totally different and you have to learn and if you guys ever choose to live together that's gonna be another challenge and y'all ain't ready for it so please stay where y'all are at y'all need to work on this first okay don't get any ideas don't get any idea just because things might be getting better. Give it time. To learn them and you have to understand every aspect because it's the hardest thing to do. It feels like it just rejuvenated with excitement. It ju rejuvenated with love, peace, happiness. And Connecting in ways where we've been like, wait, when's the last time we did something like this? Like, this is insane. Talk when's the last hours time? and hours, bro. Just, just hours. <laughs> and it was so good. It was such a positive conversation. And yeah. learned about each other. And went and did stuff and didn't even record it. Right. Like, when did we do that? And I think that's another thing we learned about balance. It's like, of course, we want to share as much as we can with the Neasy Gang and stuff, yeah. but we also have to find that balance where we are taking enough time for us to just connect and do things together without yeah. recording it, you know? Yeah. I have a suggestion. Because you guys are young and this relationship is so new, you guys shouldn't be having this many issues in, in 10 months. Try going out on a date at least once a week. It's just once a week. Take that time for just you two. Disconnect from everybody. Actually be present during that date once a week give yourselves that time so with that being said you know again i love you natalie um you know and w through this journey of love i continue to I, I want to continue it you know what i'm saying and we're gonna have hiccups in our relationship but i just want you to know that you're safe with me and all the child just childish shit that i've done on social media um you know i'm going to talk to you first before anybody you're my heart. You're my everything. Nobody else is, needs to be in our business and definitely doesn't... I should never hurt you publicly or behind closed doors yeah. or privately. <laughs> I never will. You know what I'm saying? 
I can't wait to grow old with you. I can't wait to keep growing and continuing this positive journey that we're on. I feel happier. I know the conversation that you've had with me, you feel happier. I do, yeah. And it's just, I just can't wait to keep living with you. I appreciate everything that you're saying. Communication is key. This is how you're supposed to do things talk to each other. They obviously had many conversations behind closed doors. As you should, things will get better from that point. You know, yeah. and we've already had these conversations yeah. for hours and hours, but you know, we feel like this is healthy to show how it looks to work through something in a healthy way. So, right. yeah. Oh, it's real windy out here in easy game. We just wanted to make sure like we were good before letting anybody else in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I feel so happy and positive on this journey. I'm just thankful to be here. Thank you guys so much uh -oh, for, for watching us. We love you. We miss you. And we are so grateful to have each and every one of you. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you guys for always riding for Natalie the way you guys do. Thank you guys for trying to correct me when I'm wrong and tell me, like, hey, easy. Am I one of those people, easy? You're telling us thank you for correcting you. Is that to me too? You're welcome. Damn. <laughs> Shut it down. Shut your phone off. Shut your phone off. Do whatever you gotta do. Okay. Log out. Get your ass off on social media. So and thank you guys for everything. Health is the most important thing within yourself. And if you're in a relationship, cater to your partner. All right. And we're out. Easy game. We're out. So basically... They said everything that I said in my last video. Now, Easy and Natalie minions, I want y'all to come back to this video, apologize in my comments below, cause y'all are fucking crazy, y'all. Y'all are, oof. <laughs> Most of y'all are probably kids, I don't know. But I said everything that they said. So, to my supporters, thank you guys for defending me in my comments and giving me positive feedback because y'all understood where I was coming from and my following is a mature audience so we're grown okay we know what's up and i love how you guys also responded to their minions i don't want y'all attacking other people just for the fun of it and just because y'all like me you're doing it in a mature respectful way and i appreciate that all right you guys tell me what you thought about this video make sure you like comment share and subscribe and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time i upload see you in the next video peace